Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Express with Mahmoud and today I'll give you my thoughts on Bayern and PSG, the UEFA Champions, Champions League final. So if you are new around here, then like and subscribe. Let's get into this. <laughs> So guys, Bayern beat PSG 1-0, Kinsey Coleman scored the header in the 59th minute and it was a great game. From what I saw, first half, both teams were attacking, they, they were a little bit nervous to go at it all out, but you definitely saw that we had a few areas playing well, like Thiago, Neymar, Mbappe. PSG's best chances came in that first half on the break where they should have scored but they didn't take their chances. Bayern also had a good chance with Robert Lewandowski hitting the post. There were a few chances both clubs had. So yeah. Next, I'll talk about the second half. And that, well... Well, as we know, Bayern did it. Six. The trophy goes to Neuer. All that remains to say is the words they want to hear. Bayern Munich, champions of Europe for the sixth time. Bayern just kept running, running, running. They just kept going, pushing, going, going, going. And in my opinion, they were just a better side. They just kept attacking. Nothing phased them. At times, PSG did attack and they looked all right. But when Chupa Moting came on, he had two chances to score. He didn't take those chances. Neymar, when he got moved to the left wing, couldn't do much because Bayern kept doubling up, doubling up on him. You had Bayern stopping PSG's midfield, especially when Verratti came on. We think he, we will assume he's going to dominate that midfield and really get Bayern, like, really get at Bayern and help. PSG, but Bayern just kept pressing. Draxler and Verratti, when they came on, couldn't create, couldn't do much because Bayern just kept shutting PSG's midfield down in the second half. And in my opinion, that was the forefront of that second half because as soon as that midfield for PSG got shut down by Bayern and Neymar got doubled up against, it was the end because Neymar couldn't create and that midfield couldn't create because those two elements got stopped. Otherwise, Bayern... They just kept attacking, kept finding areas. Tilo Kera had a tough night with Kimsey Coleman and even Coutinho. They were really finding it easy to go at Tilo Kera and they were even getting past him. That's why uh, Kera had a tough night as well as the whole defence in that second half had a tough night because Bayern, they're a team that don't stop. They're a team that has now had 21 wins in a row, I think, in, in all competitions. 11 wins in the Champions League. They didn't have a single loss this season in the Champions League. Hansi Flick came in. We all think Neuer's playing rubbish before Hansi Flick. We all think like David, like David Alaba. You have Muller. We don't even know where Muller plays. He get put at striker, then moves to centre forward, then gets placed in the wing for a bit, then comes back into camp to centre forward. But, he's, but we all think he's a centre forward. But... He's dropping back and playing Cam. Like, we don't know what Muller is. Hans Flick comes in. Improves Kinsey Coleman. He was playing all right before, but improves him. Gets Thiago dominating. Gets Goretzka playing as an unbelievable box-to-box -box midfielder. David Alaba, David Alaba plays like one of the best world's... One of the world's best left centre-backs. And you have Alphonse Davies, the inexperienced 19-year... 19 years old Canadian left wing gets converted to become one of the best left backs and will become one of the world's best left backs if he continues this. Noya, who we think had an injury, came back 18 slash 19, done pretty crap, comes back and it's now one of the best keepers in the world. He, for me, if it went for Kingsley Coleman's goal, the man of the match for me has to go to Manuel Neuer. With Bayern's high line, PhD in the first half did exploit that. But Neuer was there saving them. He, the sweeper keeper role really suits Bayern because the high line they play, they need someone to come forward and really be that sweeper keeper, come out of goal and really 
just act like another defender and he and Neuer did that perfectly as well as that his shot stopping is pretty decent as well he's proving that he's not over yet he's proven that Bayern don't need to replace him they just need to slowly look at other tar targets like they did with Alex Newell. They bought him in for free and now Alex Newell's just going to be a backup to Neuer and learn the trade from Neuer because Neuer's really improved under Hansi Flick. Everyone under Hansi Flick has improved. They were fourth place in the Bundesliga. They went on to win it. They'd done all right in the Champions League but then they became a force and showed that they are not just contenders but they are going to win it because of the way they're playing. And it clearly showed... Bayern kept going, PSG kept going, but PSG didn't have, do enough in that second half and create enough in that second half to warrant the win, whilst Bayern did the opposite. They improved in that second half and just kept going and grinded out the win. But you saw what it meant to Bayern after 2013 winning it then. They now beat all the odds, beat all the big teams, and finally found some form and won it. Whilst PSG, on the other hand, First time in the Champions League, they done really, they done really well to get to the Champions League. Even against Bayern, that was Bayern's toughest challenge yet. They made it Bayern's toughest challenge yet. And it was Bayern's toughest challenge yet. So PhD did give Bayern their toughest challenge yet. But you saw what it meant to the players with Neymar, Neymar crying, Leandrano, uh, Paradez, the CDM, he was crying. There was other players were getting emotional. They weren't crying, but they were tearing up. It meant a lot to PSG to not just be in the final for the first time since Marseille did and won it. It stays as Marseille, the only French team to win the Champions League in like 1992, I think it was, or something like that. I'm not sure, something like that. But PSG, can they do this again next season? Well, we'll find out. We'll see. Thomas Tuchel said he, he does... Have a meeting in the couple of days coming with the board to see what transfers they, they'll make. So that will be interesting. But right now, Bayern look unstoppable. And hopefully we'll see them dominate in a few years' time. But other than that, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Tell me your thoughts on Bayern in the comments below. And peace.